what is up everybody and welcome back to another video we are out here in the cold it's a rainy day here in california so another truck day we have ryan over here he is pulling the radiator to our donor truck which we'll be using on our international build so we're fine to a point where we can start bolting up the radiator and figuring out things like that so we're excited Not a whole lot left of this this donor truck um it's been handy having a spare truck that we can just take parts from yeah it looks like ryan has this radiator off and we need to get the radiator bracket i don't know what you'd call it support off as well and then i think we just that one big bolt. are good to go so Get it off and go in the shop. All right, got the front. Front pieces off the other truck that we needed, but we're going to be finishing up the brake lines on the truck before we start putting front end pieces back together, just because they'll be in the way. Um, we pulled off all of the extra brake lines and stuff off all of our donor trucks just to see what we have to work with. And I think we can get everything put together we went and bought one brake line that we can bend to go across but other than that i think we have everything we need to make the front work and then we'll have to order a longer brake line to go to go to the rear but it shouldn't be too bad so we're gonna knock that out and then we can start figuring out radiator stuff and yeah, just see how far we can go. Really, we just try and get everything done to get this truck driving. So that's the goal. Front brake lines are pretty much done. Come off the reservoir, drop down. Here they go to, the front brakes go here to a splitter, which sends it to this tire and then this line comes underneath, over through the frame here. And this line will hook up to there. Went really good. Tried to film it the best I can, but it's hard to film these things because there's so much little stuff going on. So 
thin a little bit. And then Ryan just went through and did little things that need done. Like adjusting things so everything lines up better and added a spring to the throttle. So that was really good to get those things done. But now that the front brakes are done, I think we can start putting on the front end a little more and figuring out what we need to cut out for the power steering and all that. So it's nice doing things that actually make progress. It's fun. So next we'll be tossing up the radiator, I believe, and need to order stuff for exhaust to start worrying about that. Then we can build the doghouse. So things are moving quicker now. All right, guys, another day working on the truck. We have a couple things going on. We have Ryan over here who is taking, this is the radiator core support from the original blue truck. And we're gonna be using this front end just because it's the straightest out of the two. But we need to swap out radiators because as you can tell here, you have about that thickness, then the 1800, is like almost twice as thick so honestly we want as much cooling as possible so we're going to use the 1800 radiator inside of the 1600 um core support so ryan's going to be working on that and then i'm actually going to be starting to fab up the exhaust we went by a shop and bought some exhaust now i'm going to be doing some pie cuts and building a downpipe so Let's see how much we can get done today. Would you look at that first time the trucks had a grill in a year and year and a half looks like that engine is just made for it perfect amount of room besides having to chop up the entire firewall <laughs> yeah that's sweet now Ryan can mount the top section hood bridge. I don't know what you call that. And then he can get the side fender liners installed. Or not installed, or at least mocked up, kind of see. And then this side, he can start cutting and seeing how much we have to cut to make room for the power steering. So, sweet.
So a little update of where I am at. I've been working on the exhaust, doing the pie cuts for the downpipe, which comes off the turbo. So we'll have the flange, and it comes down and drops under and goes to the back. Um, yeah, just been figuring out the angles and the pie cuts, and I think I finally have it to where I can tack it up and move forward. But look what Ryan has been working on. We have a truck again. Might not run, but it looks like a truck. First time getting a look of what everything looks like together. And those wheels are awesome. Everything's fitting just like it should, which is why we kept as many of the Lodestar pieces when it came to the frame and the support pieces, because we knew that if we bolted those up where they're supposed to be, then everything else would align, and that's how it was. So, yeah, this is... It's feeling real. Yeah, like we might actually drive this. <laughs> Yeah. There's still a lot to do, but this is definitely some motivation. Man, I wish I could just get in and drive it, but... Still have some work to do. We just put it together mainly to just get the measurements, make sure everything we needed to cut was cut off so that when the time was, when it was time to put it together, we could just slap it together. We wouldn't have to cut anything. So we know everything's gonna fit. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to take it apart again, but we know what it looks like and that is some motivation to keep going, so. Got the Beginning of the downpipe all tacked together and welded. I guess tacked together. And so far so good. Um, this is my first time doing pie cuts and things like that, so kind of learning as I go, but it's kind of fun. Seeing how you can take a straight piece of metal and make these angle cuts on it, and you have a pretty smooth transition curve, so. Well guys, we have an exciting new part to show you. We went and picked it up today and it costs about as much as our transmission, <laughs> but it's beautiful, so. Look at that drive line. This is the final piece to our drivetrain. So, technically, we could drive this if we had everything hooked up, which we know the engine runs, just needs fuel. 
Pedals are all hooked up. Don't have brakes, but eh, brakes are overrated. Let's freaking drive it. So, yeah, this is an exciting new piece. The final piece to the puzzle of the driveline, or the drive train. Well, I finished welding up the exhaust. Aren't professional welds, but it'll hold. So we can slap that on. And then Ryan's been working on just getting rid of stuff off the frame. There was a support across here that was there for some reason. Um, he's working on chopping the back off here just to square it up. But yeah, I think really next video we could start this or maybe I would like to get the brakes done before drive it because like if I'm gonna drive it, I wanna drive it. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. So, and we're still waiting for the brake line to come in to do the, go to the rear, but. Did you order it? Yeah. So it's on the way, but I wouldn't be opposed to starting it and just Fired seeing. Up. Hasn't ran in a year and a half, so. Start it up and see what we got. But things are coming along. It's fun to finally get to a point where we can just like start working on things and things are getting done. And you can just move on to something within a day or two instead of working on something for weeks. Like we already have the front end on the truck and oh, it's just exciting. Those of you who have built something like this, you know the excitement of making progress, so. I think this is where I'm going to end this video though. I don't want to get it too long. Um, just keep moving forward and keep working hard so that we can get this done. Hopefully, hopefully within a few weeks we can be driving around in it. That would be the ultimate goal. So thank you all for watching. Hello to the new subscribers. Um, if you haven't yet, subscribe and you can keep up with the build and see when I put videos out. And we will catch you on the next video. Peace. Oh,